Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.net and welcome to my craft room. I am so excited about this month because we're launching the new catalog. It will go on live May 4th. Aren't we excited? And I have some wonderful specials this month. So um, please listen to the video and at the end I will go ahead and put these cards together so that you can see how to assemble them. Um, but first, we're going to talk about the specials because I've got a few. Uh, first, if you place any type, any size order, it could be $5, I'm going to send you two free card kits. I really appreciate you supporting my business. Um, so you're going to get the two free card kits. Uh, and I always send a thank you card. Uh, sometimes I send a birthday card. It's always a reusable card that I send. You can always um, use it, you know, for a friend or a family member, something like that, okay? So I always send that. Now, from May 4th to May 15th, if you place a $50 product order, um, I'm going to send the two free kits and a pack of the In Color Jewels. These are the 2021, 2023, they're brand new. Everything that we're do I'm doing this month is brand new product. It all has that little red end next to it. So I'll send you a pack of these, and let me just say, if things go on back order, okay, I might have to do something different. I just have to continue to put that disclaimer in here because um, of the shipping problems, okay? But I, I, I do my best to get everything that I can into this uh, area of my home so that I can ship it out to you. So, okay, and then if you have a $100 product order, you're going to receive the Best Wishes stamp set on page 63. Uh, I can't show it to you. It's in. I'm not allowed to open the catalog, but it's in here on page 63. Okay, so that's the best wishes stamp set. Then, if you uh, place a $150 product order, now remember, all of this is product order. This has to be before shipping, handling, and taxes. Okay, so if you place a $150 product order, do not use my host code. You are going to receive rewards from Stampin' Up, and you'll want that because, you know, you'll get to order product. But you'll also um, get from me the Best Wishes stamp set and the pack of jewels. So you'll get two things with a $150 order. With the launch of a new catalog, and I've looked at my numbers and where people are at, and a lot of people order $150 or above at when, they first get the, when they first order from the catalog in this first month. So I wanted to do something to reward everybody at every single level that there is. There's like what I call the $5 level, the $50 level, the $100 level, and the $150 level. <laughs> okay? So then um, I thought, okay, what are we going to do for the other half of the month? Well, we're going to do just about the same thing, just change up some products. Very, very simple. And I will go over these in many videos with you guys um, throughout the month. Okay, so again, a $50 product order then will get you Just Jade Gold Ribbon. It's on page 139. This is from May 16th to May 31st. So you'll get one of those with the, with the $50 product order. The $100 product order, you're going to get the Garden Bird Houses uh, stamp set on page 107. And then with a $150 product order, you'll receive both the ribbon and the stamp set. So this is like really busy, busy month for me. I'm very excited about getting all of this product and starting to open this catalog and show you all the wonderful things that are in here. I've sent out many, many catalogs to my customers, so I know when I give you those page numbers, you're going to be able to look to see what you're going to get because it's a rule by Stampin' Up. I'm not allowed to open this until the 4th. So that's wonderful, right? Okay, so there's our specials. Um, and uh, I hope I haven't confused you too much. Of course, you can message me if you have any questions. But I love to give things away. And I want everyone to be rewarded for ordering from me, especially with the launch of a new catalog. I'm so excited about it. I'll be back in just a moment, and we're going to put one of these cards together. Okay, let's put this first card together. This features our soft succulent and polished pink. And this is so saffron right here. That goes so pretty with it. Um, also, um, what I did with this one, I used the Flowers of Friendship bundle. This is a great punch for these flowers, and this is so pretty, pretty, pretty stamp set. So that's what I used this month for um, this month's free kits. 
very fun, very nice. Now, uh, let's move this card aside, and this is how your kit will come. Everything is in your envelope, okay? So when you get everything out, okay, make sure that you shake out your envelope because there's going to be two little rhinestones in there for you to put on your flowers. Let's go ahead and decorate our envelope first. Let me move that out of the way. I love to decorate my envelopes and my... Um, my cards, both. So I'm going to use this larger flower. I love these flowers. They're, they're a little retro looking to me. So I'm going to use that in polished pink and then on the back also in polished pink. Now these free card kits are designed so that you can um, use really any sentiment and any uh, stamp set that you want to, but I of course suggest this one. It goes quite well with it right? Because <laughs> that's where the punch comes from. Okay, now the little one I'm just going to do in So Saffron. And So Saffron just accents that polished pink so pretty. And we're going to put two out here. There and like here, okay? Such a pretty card to receive in the mail, right? Just the envelope alone. All right, now let's go ahead. Now we're on red rubber, so we don't need the, um, the pad the stamp and pierce mat. Let's do this. Now this comes, this um, shape comes from the scalloped contour dies. I'm allowed to show you the product. I just can't open the uh, the catalog. So this is scalloped contour dies. Look at these. These are so much fun. I've got that one out. This one has like lines and it's kind of separated right there. Isn't that cool? on the sides too. That is really neat. But these are all different. I love these. You'll see me use these a lot. Um, and we're going to put a stamp on here. Little card, big thanks. I hope you watched my video last night. I did it really, really quick. It's a short one on how to mount these cling stamps easier. I found it from someone and I don't remember who she was. And she got it from somebody that she couldn't remember who she got it from. But we're all demonstrators, and this is a wonderful little family of crafting, right? So, But I do appreciate her ideas. Um, it really helped a lot. So check that video out, okay? If you have trouble mounting your um, cling stamps, this video is the one for you. I'm going to move this aside, and let's bring in the base of our card. Now, it'll come like this, it'll come scored, and then you'll, you'll just fold it and um, burnish it down. Let's go ahead and do the inside of the card. Woo, I've got it faced the wrong way, right? We want to go like that. And um, again, we want to go back in with our pretty flowers. Polish pink right here. And um, now let me get a piece of scrap paper here because I want to stamp off. I don't want to get it on my surface there. Okay. And I'm just going to take this polished pink one, almost like they're floating in the air, the flowers. And now so saffron. And here. And here. And then one right there. Perfect, right? Now let's get this beautiful saying, life is better with friends like you. We're going to do that in soft succulent. And I'm going to do that right in the center here. I love that saying, life is definitely better with friends like you. All right, let's go ahead and do the front of our card. So we're going to take this piece of soft succulent. It's five and a quarter by four. You can use any adhesive that you'd like. Let me move this paper. And we're just going to attach this to our card base flat. I like to use the Tombow because I have trouble getting things on here straight, and it gives me that wiggle room, and I love it. But, of course, you use whatever you like. Now, we're going to take our um, sentiment that we just did and just put a couple of dimensionals on there. Two will be fine. And we want to attach this to the middle. These cards are very easy to put together. You can also, um, if you love the background of this, add to it. Add a few things to it. You know, I give you a good base. Now let's move this aside and put our flowers together. They're so pretty. So this punch punches everything out. 
leaves, everything. I thought it would be fun to do colors. So we're going to take the So Saffron and the larger petal, uh, polished pink and we're going to alternate our colors with glue dots. So we'll just put a glue dot here and then polish pink here and just alternate your petals. Another glue dot here on the polished pink and put the So Saffron right there. Now, where your petals are So Saffron, you want to use the, the bottom one is So Saffron, you want to use the polished pink little leaves and then the So Saffron over here on the polished pink just so that the uh, colors are different and they stand out that way. So here on the bottom, the little top, the little like uh, decorative part up there goes to the top and you're going to want to just stick these on here and I love using glue dots because they're quick and easy, right? And see how I've stuck those where the so saffron is so that it just um, enhances that, right? And now this one we'll want to do the same thing but where the polished pink is. So I'm just going to put that here and you can put it on any one, you can move it around, doesn't matter. Whatever look you're going for is right. Just like that. Okay, now <clears throat> let's bring our card base back in. And what we want to do is attach these here and we want to make sure that our little leaves there, our little colorful leaves, don't go off of the card, okay? So when you, this is already popped up with dimensionals, so you definitely don't want a dimensional right in the middle. You kind of need your dimensional toward the top, it kind of in the middle of those leaves right there. So that's where we're going to put it, so that you clear your embellishment here, and then everything is the right height, okay? The right height of pop-up right there. <laughs> the right popped-up height, right? <laughs> okay, now let's do this one. And same thing, okay? You're going to put some of this on there, and so you definitely want your dimensional up through here. And just so long as you can't see it. And then right in here. And see, you can move these because they're just on with glue dots, so you can kind of position those around. There you go! Isn't that wonderful? And now let's just put our... Now, this is cute. Let's look at this. Let me show you what two rhinestones just do. These are cute. This is cute. But when you put the rhinestones on, it defines those flowers. And they're, they're the smallest ones. They just really look so cute on there. Just like that. Oh, adorable. Absolutely adorable. Now, of course, you can use the In Color Jewels if you'd like. I thought you guys would like some rhinestones with this. Okay, so here is our first card. Oh, and we have our envelope already completed. Isn't that wonderful? Very simple, easy, duplicatable card. Um, and then again, you can always add to it. I'll be back in just a moment and we'll put the second one together. Okay, on to the second card. This is so pretty. I used the, um, the bark embossing folder. That's new. This is new this bark embossing folder here with the um, pale papaya and I love that pale papaya and there's a little bit of that ribbon right there uh, in the in colors so uh, I tried to use all you know new product of course and here is your kit the way it'll come everything again in the envelope and you'll get about five inches of this beautiful ribbon it's so soft let me get that open weave ribbon and this is in pale papaya comes in all the in colors so I, I absolutely fell in love with pale papaya all right let's go ahead and now this card will open like this okay just like that your piece will come flat it will be scored now what we want to do is add our ribbon to our piece right here let me move this scrap out of the way okay and so I'm just going to turn this over and use my seal. It's a great way to save ribbon. I'm always about saving ribbon. And I'm going to place this right here and then put my 
ribbon into the back of that seal right here. And this is where it's nicely repositionable, okay, so that you can get it straight across the front. I just wanted to show you that you can lift it back up, okay, just like that. So that's what you do with the ribbon. Then we're going to put this down flat with some Tombow. And you'll want to use a lot of adhesive because of the embossing. We um, lost our Subtle's embossing folder, right? They retired it. So I'm always looking for a nice embossing folder to use as just a very subtle background. And even though this says bark, it doesn't look like bark. It's just a very subtle background. I love it. Okay, now you're going to get this big scallop circle, and of course those circles carried over. And let's go ahead and stamp thank you for everything in Pale Papaya, the top here. And then we're going to use this flower that's in the stamp set right here, this large one here. There's so much to do with that, let me tell you, and the punch. It's crazy. And I'm going to go into Soft Succulent, and I'm just going to stamp this down here. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that so pretty? That soft succulent with the pale papaya. Oh my goodness. All right, now let's go ahead and add this to our card right here. And we're going to use dimensionals. And now, because we have the ribbon in the middle, okay, I want to make sure that my thank you for everything is at the top. And I want to place my dimensionals at like 10, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, instead of, you know, how we usually do like 12, 3, 6, and 9, you want to go ahead and straddle that ribbon because you want your dimensionals to definitely stick to the um, uh, embossed piece right here of Pale Papaya. Okay, so right there. And then that will fit right here. Isn't that so pretty? And again, you can enhance this card your own way. Let's go ahead and do the inside. We're going to um, stamp that beautiful saying, life is better with friends like you, and it definitely is. Definitely, definitely always good with friends like you. Let's go ahead and stamp this in the center. Good. And now we're going to take our little leaves here that come in that set. You know, we um, with here, we use the punch with the little leaves. Now we're gonna, I'm going to do a little stamping. Of course, your card comes blank. I'm not allowed to stamp any images. That's a rule by Stampin' Up. And uh, this is soft succulent. And I'm just going to allow these to kind of fly in my card. Like they're blowing in the breeze. Today we have a very, very um, breezy day outside. So I'm going to use the little one and the big one. Isn't that cute? Nice center. Now let's go ahead and do our envelope. And we'll do it the same way. Just three. And there. Just like that, just to decorate your envelope. And there's our second card. Very easy to put together. Of course, you can always enhance which I love to see that, and you're more than welcome to post. And I love to see when you guys enhance my cards because, um, yeah, I give you the base, and then you guys take it from there, and there's sometimes I'm like, wow, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and review our um, specials for the month. The first part of May from the 4th when the catalog launches to the 15th it, with a $50 product order. You will receive, that's before shipping, handling, and taxes, these two free card kits and um, the in-color jewels, a pack of these, okay? And like I say, disclaimer about the back ordering, all right, guys? I Sometimes I just, I, you know, I, it's out of my hands, okay? So that, that's for the $50 order from the 4th to the 15th. With a $100 order, you will get the Best Wishes stamp set. That's on page 63 of our catalog. I'm not allowed to show it to you because I can't open the book yet, okay, on page 63, but I know a lot of you have the catalog, right? And then with a $150 order, do not use the host code, 
okay? Stampin' Up! will give you rewards, and then I'm going to send you both the um, jewels and the stamp set, the Best Wishes stamp set with a $150 order. Now, for the second part of the month, a $50 order will get the Just Jade and Gold Ribbon. It's on page 139, okay, of the catalog, and then it will get, uh, with a $100 order, Garden Bird Housing on page 107 of the new catalog, and then if you order $150, do not use the host code, and you'll get rewards from Stampin' Up, and I'm going to send you the ribbon and the stamp set with a $150 order, um, and so there's two different specials from the 4th to the 15th, from the 16th to the 31st. I hope that you will shop with me and have a wonderful, wonderful, happy crafting day when you get all of your product in the mail. Uh, so um, I'm very excited about the launch of this catalog and um, I really think you guys are good. We are gonna have a great time uh, through the next year with this absolutely beautiful catalog. I know, I know I've sent out what 36 of them so I know you guys have them in your hands just look at those pages and see what I'm going to send you for free that is for ordering from me I appreciate every one of you please have a wonderful day and let's do some happy crafting together